Hello now, my crypto bit brothers and sisters. This here is Bulldog Rod, and over here you'll see Papa Ron is in the building. <laughs> Hi, Rod. Hey, hey, Papa Ron, what's going on, bro? Jeez. You're looking good, man. You're yeah. looking good. I wish the chicks would say that. Thank you. Yeah, well, they do. You just it's, don't know it. <laughs> it's been it's been a curse my whole life, Rod. <laughs> 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 Me too. <laughs> well, we got a little bit of news that have been floating around today. Oh boy, I love this news, man. I'm sorry I wouldn't know wasn't able to help you with the news because uh hell I've been working all day. <laughs> yeah, I know you have. Uh heck. But here's a little article about the futures come oh I'm sorry, go ahead. What were you saying? I, said, I, should, I should I should quit work and just worry about this. I'd make more money in this than I would work in. You know that? Yeah, but your love and heart is with those guns. I understand what I you're doing. Do. I got a real passion for them. And working yeah. at that gun shop is so much fun. <laughs> yeah, do, do, it, do what you enjoy doing. That's good. So, you know, it's only like, you know, five or six hours a day. You know, I mean, not a day, but uh, part time. So it's good for me, you know. Nothing wrong with that. Tired. And I love doing this crypto and making extra money. You know that? Oh, baby. Yeah. And I can see 2018 going to make us a whole bunch of money. Yowza. <laughs> Let's hope. Yeah. Well, I was kind of just excited to see this. The futures contract. Some of these early investors are uh, suffering. They're uh, not making the uh, bets they're placing, and they're actually losing money. Well, you know why, don't you? They're they're betting that we're in a bubble and it's all going to bust and Bitcoin's going to go down. But guess what? It's rallying now. <laughs> yeah, I, th yeah. I, I think they're betting on both sides of it. But to me, it's the first step. And and I, there's things going on behind the scenes that we probably don't know about. But it's still yeah, the first true. step of controlling this market. As soon as they get to where these bankers and they're on the SEC and these futures contracts, it's it's just a way that they. As a matter of fact, they're all crying. We need more regulation and control. Why? Oh shit! Yeah, so they can control it. It's exactly yeah. why. Put more yeah. rules on there so it's like the stock exchange, so we know exactly <laughs> what's going on and we can manipulate them numbers to yeah, benefit we want, us. We, don't want, we want this to be decentralized not centralized that's exactly it they don't want that's us it. common folk getting out of line and making any damn money it's all for them to make yeah. um, so anybody even in the stock market I mean what you trust these brokers with your money and stuff you think they're there oh. for your best benefit oh no give me a break that's what I say Rod it just takes you two minutes to get me so wound up I can <laughs> <laughs> Right on, Cassitone. <laughs> and here's the second one. I guess these prepaid visas, like BitPay and a couple others, Visa has finally said, hey, 5th of January, cut them all off. We're not honoring them. And uh, they don't, as I read the article, there's not any valid reason why. Um, I, I just don't know if they're at the cahoots of government officials or what. But it's not like they're losing money or there's a big mistake or something. They just said, hey, we're stopping all these prepaid crypto visas as of yesterday, the 5th. Why? Anyway, yeah, it's just something interesting. I don't I don't know. Like I said, there was they'll no valid reason. Because they'll get, you know, it, it's going to be the upcoming currency. I hate to tell everybody this, but it's going to be the upcoming currency. Yeah, I agree. Well, let's get in years, but it's going to be there. <laughs> let's get into crypto, folks. Hey, I love this crypto. Look at this stuff, man. We've had a little bit of turnaround. Look at the market cap. Eight hundred and sixteen billion dollars. You we're know, gonna, we're going to be taking over. We're going to be taking over a trillion dollars here pretty soon. Uh, maybe by the end of next week, if if any of these take a jolt up. <laughs> no. It could be pretty freaking quick. <laughs> this could end up really being a multi-trillion dollar industry. Well, I'm sure it is. What it's going to be. But, you betcha. Uh, Bitcoin. And, 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 and that's through, all these bankers and 
and these invest uh, uh, what's uh, the, the stock market and that is afraid of that. They're going, oh my heck, all these people are investing in crypto and they invest it in us. <laughs> yeah, I think there's something to it. Yeah, it's like we just said. But anyway, um, interesting. And, you know, we haven't been on in a few days, folks, but look at what Ripple's done. You know, it's taken the number two spot. It wow. was about halfway to Bitcoin till Bitcoin recouped the last day or so. Yeah. Um, and Ethereum's closing back in. Ripple was way ahead of it, but now there's only about $20 billion between them. So XRP, you know, there's some conspiracy talk out there about the banker's coin. And um, anyway, I, I'm seeing, well, we don't want to, this ain't a show about Ripple, but uh, things but, are moving. Know, uh, let's face it. All these coins are making money if you invest in them. And if you're making money in them, that's what we want for everybody. Okay, uh, good point. So let's talk about that a bit. You know, as these things are growing and more people are coming into the industry, and not all of them are going to buy $18,000 Bitcoin. Some of them look at yeah. Ripple at, at $3 and it was down at 2 and say, Cal, maybe maybe my money's better spent here where I can get several coins. I mean, and look, look at, And look, the Corda uh, Cardano. Ada? Who is it? Uh, yeah. Is that a dollar two? Man, that, that was just a few cents not long ago. Now look at it. And then it dropped. It, you know, look at Litecoin. It's dropped down all the way to number six. It was way up there, number three. Yeah. It's went down halfway. You know, Coming and back. Touched oh, over man. 300 today. I know. I know. It will. It's going to come back. And look at Neil, man. Look how much it's doing. Man, I tell you what. I tell you, all of this stuff is doing good. So, Except so here's Rod's wrong. point. Rod's point is, hey, the top, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, I don't know how many coins, Rod, but like you say, we're just getting started into this year. And, and as oh, yeah. the amount of people that are coming in and looking for tokens and coins, you got Tron at 17 cents. Right. Well, my heck, why wouldn't I throw a couple hundred at that in, instead of uh, Litecoin at 297? Amen. Um, you know, some of these people, they come in and they're, they're what do they call them, newbies? Uh, right, and and we're still learning ourselves, but absolutely. I, I don't you know. I was how talking about it. I, I was talking about it today at work with this guy, and he just got through invested some in Ethereum and in Litecoin, and I said, "Well, those are good coins as long as you sit and hold them, you know, because those are the coins you're going to go for long term, in in my estimation, because they're 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 not a pump and a pump and dump, you know. But neither are these other ones." If you invest in them, let them go up, and then take it, take a little bit of profit on them. But then take the money invested in them out, and then let them rise on their own. It don't cost you a dime. <laughs> yeah, Rod's been real good at that. As as we get into coins and it doubles in price or something, Rod's always good about taking the investment back out, and then letting the rest just work. And there's yeah. no there's no skin in the game at that point, and then we can take the investment we pulled out and put into something we feel good about again. Oh, well, we both do that, Ron. Yeah. And a lot of it. So Rod's got a good point here. They're, they're all seem to be stable. They all seem to be making moves. Look at EOS 13. NEO 102. Oh, my land. That went up to 102 already? Oh, shit. It was, oh, I don't uh, know, we did a, oh, and I don't even have the computer. I'll put it on, folks. But we did a NEO when it went from Ant Shares to Neo, we did a couple videos on that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, suggested, well, I don't know if we suggested or not, but some guy went into it from our videos and made quite a bit of money. And he tipped us 10 Neo coins. At that time, it was 25 bucks a coin. So he gave us 250 schmacks. Yeah. And and it dropped and it went up and it dropped. And, and Rod and I, I think it got up to about 40, 45 and... We said, well, we really like this Neo thing. Maybe I shouldn't say this. I don't want to offend the guy that gave him to us. No, but, I don't. Okay. We wanted to get into something else. So we bailed out of him. And <laughs> put the, and now it's at 102. 102. Yeah, yeah. If I was double jointed, I'd kick myself in the rear, man. <laughs> 
So folks, what Rod's saying is, hey, you take the top, I don't know how many coins, and and put some money into them, and with all these new people coming in, and it, it's probably going to pay off. But I guess I want to take the opposition, the opposite side of the fence tonight and say, yeah, and and we're doing that. But I want to give a word of caution again, because some people are jumping into this stuff without doing any research. They're following the upswing. I mean, look at some of these coins. Look at look at Quantum right here. You can open that up. Um, and look at that spike. I mean, it's like, oh, I, I got to get in on that. Oh, I don't even have my dang screen on, Rod. Here we go. Here we you go. Don't? I do oh now. My heck. I do now. <laughs> so they, they want to jump on board with these spikes like this. They don't they don't look at the volume. They don't see how many you know what the project's all about. They just want to get in on it because there's so much hype right now and yeah. has been about all the money people are making on this. So let me show you another example. This is up fifty seven percent, and I'm and and we're believers in quantum. We don't have any, but we think quantum's a good project and all. Look, folks, when you see this, and I haven't done this, but you can you can put your cursor on there, hold it down, and drag it back like this, and expand that view. We we'll do it another time. See now now you can kind of start to see more what's going on just today. And it's it had a big spike and it's down, um, and the volume has stayed consistent. But you can kind of see, and, and maybe now it doesn't look like it's a big run up. It's come back down, and this might be a good entry point if you're looking at getting into quantum. So go over to Bitcoin Talk Quantum, read with the 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 people. Go to the Discord. There's several ways you can or avenues you can take to learn more. What the people yeah. are feeling about this? Yeah. Check out the circulating supply. This is Rod's big thing. There's only 73 million coins out there. It's not yeah. over abused. It's had a good pullback. And not that we're charters, we're not. But these are the things we look at and say, yeah, maybe it's time if we want to get into quantum, this could be a good time. Yeah. Can I can I talk about another one? Yeah. Verge. Look at Verge. It's only 18 freaking cents, and it's number 24 in the uh, in the market cap. Now it does have 14 billion. I don't care for that for circulating supply, but in the past 24 hours, uh, they did uh, uh, 18,000 Bitcoin. I know, I know. So you know that they're, they're they're a good coin to grab a hold of. It's cheap. You can grab a bunch of them and then just hold. For a while, you don't have to pump and dump, you know. I, and and Ron and I are a firm believer in taking our money out after we invest it, and then just let it ride by itself. And that's good. And every once in a while, we'll put in more money on something just so we can get more of it, you know. It because eventually it's going to get to a point where, wow, there. The, you know, <clears throat> Ron, if I could say this, uh on YouTube, we hey, see... You You can say whatever you want. I've got the mute button right here if I don't like it. But go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> there have been more millionaires last year just by just by playing this uh, uh, cryptocurrency. And this year, there's going to be even more. Believe me, it's going to be even more. And, and Ron and I are going to be one of them. <laughs> Two and, of them. <laughs> and what's exciting about that? It is some of the common folk that are making these monies. That's and right. It's and it and and it's on these eighteen centers or two centers or whatever yeah. coins. It's amazing. But do your research and back Absolutely. to Verge. I mean, look at the look at the volume that's poured into this since December eighteenth. I mean, and see you pull that chart back, and now you can actually see what's going on with that. Um, let me show you, Ron. That, Rod, and this is up 10%. Check out B3. Yeah, yeah it's up exactly. 8,900% in the <laughs> last, I don't even think it's 24 hours. I mean, it's just like in the last couple hours, I think. It's at two and a half cents. So, folks, if, if you started to follow this thing and uh, want to get in on the ride, I mean, you better know why. Um, 
this has done what it's done. You don't want to just jump on here because it's up 8,900%. Well, you can see yeah. I don't know what I'm doing on this, but <laughs> there you go. Is it dropping now? Yeah, it's dropping now. It says it is. Even even at a drop, it's still 8,900%. But yeah, it went up. To, it went up to $3 and something. But B3, see, if you don't know the history of B3, it, it took a big tank. There was some problems within management, I think, and founders. And uh, all the exchanges took B3 off their exchanges. Um, and today, Yobit took them back on. So that's why there's all this activity and volume going into it. Yeah. So again, if you don't know any of that or research it, and you just want to jump on the bandwagon, you could get stung on that a little bit so yes we believe that these top so many coins are going to make people a lot of money and we're trying to get in on them too yeah but when we're no experts we're just you know sometimes you lose sometimes you win but just the wins outlast the lever out outweigh the the loses so, so far with ron and i it's been good and rod always says don't put in what you really can't afford to lose but Right. There, there's people that are mortgaging their homes out there and putting money on Visa cards, and and I, I've said before, I don't really blame them, if you if you got a good plan of attack, um, but just to throw money at this, you got to be cautious too. Yeah. Um. Other than that, folks, every everything is looking really good right now in these top coins. I mean, and you can even go down further. You can look at the top hundred, and things are just doing well. They really are. Um, Komodo's up twenty-seven percent. Dragon Coin up thirty-two percent. Look at that consistent line on that. I know. One hundred and thirteen percent on Denticoin. I mean, oh, sheesh. look at that! And that and that's only point zero zero two. At what is that? Uh, two Satoshi's? I don't know what that is. What's a Satoshi, Ron? Explain that to me. A Satoshi is one millionth of a of a uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin. A Satoshi is eight digits. So if you go point seven zeros and then that last one, the eighth digit, that's a Satoshi. So it could be twenty-seven Satoshis. Then you'd go six zeros to seven times that by the amount of number of coins you're going to buy and then you have to divide what are you trying to put me on the spot here brother oh that's too complicated for me don't worry about it well let me show you right <laughs> let me show you what i like to use okay. i go to uh btc to us dollar okay okay it brings up this graph right right away so like i said if if i was point there's seven digits in a satoshi Three six zero seven, so it's so if there's like four zeros and then it's fifty two, so that'd be fifty two hundred satoshi. It's it's eighty eight it's eighty eight cents. That kind of figures the dollar value for you. What's point zero zero two four nine six? Point zero. What is it? How many zeros? Zero zero two four nine six. Forty-two dollars and seven cents. Okay, and how many how many uh, coins could you buy for that? One. Well, what are you looking at? I'm looking at that Denta coin. Well, they're they're actually there's actually zero zero two five is four to a penny. So right now they're selling for four for a penny. Oh, okay. On Denta coin. Okay. Yeah, you wow, you could buy a lot of them. Yeah, it's up. See, there's your Satoshi price right there. It's set six zeros one five equals a fourth of a penny. Oh, okay. All and right. then there's oh, your wow. ether price too. So you can look at it that way too. But see, look at this. I mean, that's 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 making headway, man. How many how many uh, could you buy for say fifty bucks? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Are we taking too much time for the video? Yeah, just, it's, it's all right, I'm folks. Sure. <laughs> folks, just just watch us do our own personal thing. What, 
we'll show you how a couple idiots buy this crypto. <laughs> Ron, you're so funny. Okay, so you got fifty dollars. We're going to divide by a hundred pennies, right? So you got five thousand and one pennies. <laughs> five thousand, really. But I put the one on there so I can get an exact number. And you, and then we're going to divide that. We're going to times it by 0.25 because there's four for a penny, right? You're going to get 1,200 and... <laughs> no, that's not right either. <laughs> we're cutting this part out of the video. <laughs> I'm under a lot of pressure here now, Rod. 5,001 pennies times four. You're going to get 20,000 coins and dent a coin for 50 bucks well see that's the kind i like to get into <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so, you can, so you can call your kids and say yeah i've got twenty thousand coins of this <laughs> well no if it goes up guess what <laughs> if it just goes up to a 10 cents man you made a bundle of money yeah anyway folks <laughs> We wish you the best in your uh, crypto adventures, and you're in crypto land here. Yeah, and it's a it's a time to get into this market. It's you fun. know, skip buying it's the stuff you don't need, and because it's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it is fun. We have a blast. We do. But we keep spending money on useless things when you could be securing your future with a little bit of crypto. I really believe that. I believe that too. So. All right, good night. And thumbs up and God bless.